And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Wednesday, the 16th of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here with your daily meander around what's happening in financial markets today. Overnight in the US, we saw a choppy session but ended up positive after cooler than expected PPI data. We started off really well with the Nasdaq outperforming. But Russian missiles hitting near the Polish border could be a threat to general sort of geopolitical stability and cause the pullback from the highs. That really sort of pulled down on markets quite significantly towards the middle of the session. And of course, we'll keep an eye on that over the coming days. Uh, US futures, possibly as a result of that news, uh, just below neutral in Asia and Asian indices are showing some caution following that geopolitical news, the ASX. Though started off to the upside is weaker and around about 0.3% to the downside. We are seeing some recovery in lithium stocks, but nevertheless, caution all round. Uh, European equity futures are also suggesting a lower open at this stage. US dollar index was quite choppy as well. It pulled back up on that news and held support at three month lows. Gold is higher through the 200 EMA and approaching $1,800 an ounce. Oil and copper also saw pauses around key levels. The VIX is still below 25. The crypto space remains precarious and Bitcoin paused after the sell-off over the last couple of days. Trading around 16,600 still, uh, but looking quite uncertain in terms of what is next as news from the crypto space continues to dominate headlines. On the data front, we've got Australian wage prices and Chinese house pricing index out this morning. Later on, we've got some fairly significant data, particularly for local currencies. We've got UK PPI and CPI data, as well as the Bank of England monetary report. Later on, we've got Canadian CPI and US retail sales for markets to digest. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. We are seeing the GB pound yen still trading with a range, as you can see on this 30 minute chart. It's really sort of, with very few exceptions, uh, there was the back end of the session a couple of days ago trading within this 164.75 to 166 level and you can see there is some buying coming in after a little dip and a retest of that support this morning so we are watching this for a potential move over 165.28 may take us up to 166 again going forward on the asx champion iron was our chart today a couple of days ago and you can see there it got stuck around this $6 level, 6.03. Uh, you can see it did actually attempt to breach that and moved up to 6.25 this morning, but it's come back down. It'll be interesting to see where this finishes towards the back end of the day, but certainly looks as though there could be some interest in this to push it through this $6 level and possibly up as far as $7 in the medium term. One to perhaps see where it ends up in the last hour of the session. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.